open the special meeting of the Tourism Development Authority for presentation of the um, annual budget for tourism. You want to? Right. So the Tourism Development Authority budget, uh, proposed budget for fiscal year 25 is also prepared um, in compliance with the North Carolina Local Government and Budget Fiscal Control Act. Occupancy tax revenue, we uh, collect 6% um, funds received from the assessment of occupancy tax on the rental of lodging units within the county is tax at a rate of 6%. Our local bill uh, allows for two thirds of those collections to be expended on tourism related expenditures and one third to, uh, towards the promotion of travel and tourism. So occupancy tax collection has <coughs> steadily increased since 2019. Um, however, the fiscal year 2024 and the fiscal year 20. 24 collections are approximately 3% higher uh, for the same period of time over last year. However, there is an indication that rental unit numbers are returning to their pre-COVID number. Oh, big time. Now, the 3.3% the three <coughs> higher that you're referring to yes. covers which period it's, of time? I, so I believe the most recent period that I looked at was um, January to March of this current year compared to, to last year. And they're saying it's up 3.2%? The same time frame. Yes, I, I pulled that directly from our, the monthly financial um, report. Mm -hmm. that, um, that is not. That, there's no, that's going to be interesting. Okay. Okay. Think uh, I guess the high? math is the math, but. Uh, oh, God, yes. Sure. Oh, it's down. way, way, oh, way, way, way down. Way down. I've oh. heard as much as potentially oh, anywhere yeah, from 30, 10 yeah. to 30 percent. But you actually yeah. saw that you compared the numbers that you actually received. Uh, yeah, this is actually what, well, the. Oh, this so is that, collections. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. so what's Collection up? years are typically off, but. Oh, okay. The, the problem is it, it looks. It lags. It lags. Bad. Yeah, okay. we're, we're behind. Okay. And it looks, it look, and then <laughs> the number of people coming down and renting the houses is also The next, the next quarter tag. should show something then. Yeah. Okay. We'll see it. Anyway, sorry. The, the most you. important takeaway here is that the, the <laughs> revenue is is slowing, and we are not seeing that nice steady increase that we have seen um, since COVID. Um, so the proposed budget allocates four million seven hundred eighteen thousand three hundred sixty dollars for tourism promotion expenditures. Uh, these expenditures uh, include advertising or marketing, uh, the publication, distribution of pamphlets and other materials, and then any market research. Um, go ahead. The isn't there always a what do I want to say a surplus, or we, we we never could spend all the money for advertisement. So is there a fund balance sitting in there always, mm -hmm. or oh, do yeah. we always spend that? That there is, isn't oh, yeah. there? A big, big. Well, we also have the rainy day fund. I mean, we we recognize that we could have a year, uh, we'll have a Katrina level event or something. We have money set aside. Correct, but I mean, but there's always an abundance of oh, yeah. of extra. Yeah. Oh, we're not gonna promotional that. dollars that we. Okay, yeah. well, okay. we don't need the state fund. Oh, okay, never mind then. The state's <laughs> not listening, are they? Okay. <laughs> All right. So this appropriation includes uh, transfers to the operating fund in the amount of one hundred five thousand dollars. Uh, for airport promotion, I believe is forty thousand dollars, and um, the sixty-five thousand dollars for the administration of collections. Uh, the recommended budget on the tourism-related side um, is approximately, or excuse me, is four million three hundred sixty-seven thousand two hundred fifty-three dollars. Uh, just over 2.4 million of that is general tourism related expenditures. Um, 1.4 million is allocated to historic Corolla Park operations. So this includes the Whalehead, the Maritime Museum, and the uh, Wildlife Education Center operations. And then there's an additional $438,355 allocated for capital. Um, there is a transfer of 2,707,000 
two million seven hundred seven thousand two hundred fifty two dollars um, <laughs> and um, those are primarily for projects that we'll touch on just a moment in terms of the capital um, within this expenditure there is uh, three hundred thirty two thousand dollars allocated for computer replacement uh, within this fund, there's $90,000 allocated for audiovisual uh, upgrades at the Wildlife Education Center, uh, $50,000 for vehicle replacement, $180,000 for the Curry Tuck Jack uh, statue, and $14,000 for uh, improvements at the Moyak Welcome Center. Is there any money for the old jail? That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> the historical jail? There, there is not. Um, we got like six million we just can't spend right now. So, uh, <laughs> it's certainly something you all can bring forward in your deliberation. Uh, yeah. Okay. I thought that was one of the projects was yeah. to get the jail restored. Uh, so we've completed the first phase of that. That was the stabilization. And I, um, I know that our tourism director, uh, worked with some members of the community, was facilitated <coughs> by Cameron Lowe, and um, I, I will have to check in with, with our tourism director on, on the status of that project. So projects that are, are funds that will be uh, transferred to some of our capital construction um, <coughs> funds include um, funds for the Herring, Tuna, and Shad walkovers. This is the I believe the fourth year of the walkover replacement project, and we are transferring just $1.2 million for the replacement of those walkovers. <coughs> An additional $60,000 for the design of improvements to the Southern Beach access and the Albacore access. So these will be the final two projects included in that walkover replacement uh, program. There's $225,000 designated for bulkhead replacement at Corova Beach Park. You may remember back in 2019, we replaced um, half of the bulkhead that was damaged during Hurricane Irene, not Irene, Hurricane Florence. Um, and so we now require additional repairs to, repairs to the remaining half. Um, there is $500,000 designated for wellhead dredging and this ultimately will be used for any design that is completed in the upcoming year uh, for the wellhead dredging project, and then a transfer of $96,000 for the um, calendar year uh, shoreline stability study. Again, you have received the presentation this evening and will uh, have a budget work session on June 3rd. With, with a public hearing and possible adoption at your June 19th regular meeting. Um, the proposed budget will be posted on the website and a hard copy will be available in the office of the clerk to the board at the historic courthouse. Um, any comments on the proposed budget may also be emailed um, by citizens to commissioners at currytechcountync.gov. Thank you. Thank you.